So this is how it ends. All the work, all the triumphs, all for the city. And with one mistake, done in by a bicycle thief and a weak ankle. If this is the end for the Viceroy, come get me. Viceroy, you have to get up. I don't wanna. I think I hurt my back. Just come get me. Okay, I've alerted the police that you've apprehended the head of the Bushwick bike theft ring. You don't want them to find you like that, right? It'd ruin the myth of the Viceroy. I don't even know why I come to Bushwick. This place sucks. Oh, I'm sorry that criminals don't operate in places that are more convenient for you. Did you leave the evidence drive for the police? Yes, I left the evidence drive for the police. What do I look like, an idiot? That remains to be seen. Shit, why'd I do that? Did you take your mask off again? That was dumb. There are cameras everywhere, Wyatt. Yeah, I, I know, and don't use my real name, jerk. Would you guys eat a banh mi bratwurst? How many little bratwurst be a bratwurst and a banh mi be a banh mi? Let's just ease up with the, the fusion food. I don't need every restaurant in Brooklyn's take on ramen. Really, Felix? Because I feel like I've seen you eat a lot of ramen. No, I've eaten a lot of soup. I like soup. And when I order it, I make sure to specify the difference. So wait, if the menu says ramen, you'll still call it soup? Or stew. Sometimes stew. How do you feel about mixed meats? Like a pork, veal, meatball? Penny, you can mix whatever meat you want to cook in your own kitchen. I support your lifestyle. I don't like it. You know you can't bring that in here. Uh, what, the stroller? It's cool, it won't take up much room. No, the baby. This is a bar. Sure, but we're in Brooklyn. It doesn't make it right. This isn't a playground, it's a bar. Well, it's a patio. Of a bar. You think that would work if you wanted to take a kid to a strip club? Oh, no, no, it's fine. We're from Brooklyn. So this is an immersive field trip for Jaden to learn some of the different ways that women can reclaim their bodies from the male gaze. We're sorry, is this, is this your bar? In that have I been drinking at it for the last six years, and I remember when it used to be an auto body shop. Sure. Right, but you don't own it, so I think we're just going to sit here. Now, Jaden, go make it rain. Uh, Rand, can you get me an IPA and then see if they'll put this bottle in their fridge? Oh, yeah, that's cool, Rand. And while you do that, uh, I am going to call the cops because this right here is child endangerment. All right, it's 1035. Uh, let's see how the cops like it. Wait, is he serious? Is this guy a cop? No, more of a concerned citizen. Vigilante, if you will. We should go. Nope, oh, nope, nope. You can't leave. Cops are on their way. They're coming for you. So, pop a squat. Get ready. Yeah. A little vigilante justice. Yeah. Could I see the babies? Don't take a photo of the baby. I mean, I'm sure it'll do well in foster care. You guys mind just scooting over a little bit? Can I ask you a question? Were your friends and their children always planning on joining you here? No, my wife tweeted out to a bunch of Brooklyn parents groups. Uh, maybe wear a mask next time, protect those closest to you? Rick Donahue. Part of the problem? You moved to this neighborhood too. You wanted a cool bar instead of an auto body shop. Right, but that's all that I wanted. Like that, and I don't know, maybe a place that had like 
oysters and cocktails. That was it. I didn't want to see like a nail salon get shut down for a mustard shop. There's a mustard shop? Yeah, right over there. OK, A, we're going to that mustard shop. And B, I'm just saying it in your own way, you made this place more accessible. Now you can't really control who has access to it. I should. I should be bouncer for this neighborhood. I want to be the bouncer for ramen. I think the wasabi mustard is my favorite. I wasn't sure if people would like it. Oh, I love it. I own a food truck. Not that that makes me an expert on food. I Which one? Uh, World's Worst. It's Bratwurst. <laughs> How are we just now meeting each other? I know. Nadia, this is amazing. I was thinking about doing a banh mi style Bratwurst. I love that. Thank you. Oh, my <laughs> you kid want to get high? What? No, no. She doesn't want to get high. Really? Because she's wearing a shirt that suggests she likes to get high. Far from cheap, I smoke skunk with my peeps all day. Spread love is the Brooklyn way. But he's talking about weed. Love is weed. So I will ask you again, does your baby want to get high with me? No, we, we got to go. Sure. Thank you. Spread love, spread love. Yeah. Just hold it down for a minute. You good? Yeah. All right. That's what I mean. No offense, but how does a place like this even stay in business? Well, obviously, a ketchup store would have been smarter, but those are everywhere. I'm serious. I mean, the street isn't cheap. I'm not saying there's a mob front. I'm just oh, yeah. wondering, would it make more Dude. sense to be like a mail order thing? The store is for bulk orders, dummy. Uh, we mostly sell to local stores and restaurants, and the physical location makes it easy for them. I also don't know why they would want this much mustard. No offense. Feels like, what, there's a big hot dog surplus? I'm not trying to shit all over your business. This is a weird thing. Plus, your friend Penny and I just proved that a storefront is good for the occasional walk-in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but how many walk-ins own food trucks? We are in Brooklyn. You're just gonna leave that grate open? That's how people get hurt! Sorry, our friend fell down a sidewalk grate once, so he's a little touchy. He's a little touchy about everything. No, he's right. I'm so sorry! Idiot! Chonto Dumo! He's fine, he'll be fine. I'm very sorry again for your friend, for what happened to him. That shouldn't have happened. And now you know I'm in the Russian mob. <laughs> it's okay, I assume everybody is. Do you? Do you think Nadia is really a widow? Is this your way of trying to figure out if she's single? You hate her business in the neighborhood, yet you're willing to sleep with her? I'm just saying I've never dated a widow. I'd rather date a widow. You know, like that breakup is final. Like there's there's no worrying about running into their ex at a bar and there's no pressure on me to live up to a person who's dead, a dead person. If anything, that widow has something to prove to me. Like, hey, I'm sorry, I'm not trying as hard as I could because I can't stop thinking about Marjorie and Marjorie's dead and Marjorie. I'll try harder, Marjorie. Do you mind if I drop you off in Red Hook? There's a concert letting out in Williamsburg. Do you mind waiting? I'm just chasing down a lead. I'll be 10 minutes. Fine, but you're helping me after. That doesn't seem right. You're my sidekick. Uh, pardon me? Damn it. Shit. Not the right place? No, it's a chop shop. But they're boosting strollers. We are in Brooklyn. I gotta be honest, I don't really care about this one. It may not be the crime that the Viceroy wants, but it is the crime that Brooklyn deserves. <sighs> All right. Hey, asshole, drop the bugaboo.